tutorial and today we're going to be reviewing Power of the Primes Shrapnel. So here we are, and there you, there you got him. Um, but first, let's take a look at the packaging. So get him out of the way. And yeah, so what you got here? You got uh, Scrapnel, Shrapnel. I don't know how to say it, but okay. Uh, you got him in his bug mode. He's a Decepticon. He's a Legends class A, class A Leandes, a class A Leandes, and a class A Legends. Transformers and Generations, and you got a picture up, got a picture up there of Shrapnel, and on the back, you just have a bunch of stuff and warning and stuff like that, and Transformers, authentic Hasbro, uh, converts in 10 steps, um, and the bio for this guy is... Uh, blast enemies with jolts of energy. I wonder how he does that. And anyway, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it with the packaging. Uh, this packaging's too small for me to punch. I promise you in the next video, which I know there's going to be a next video because I already have it. Um, there will be some punching and there will be some very nice moments of punching stuff and things and things and more things i'm kidding um so here we have shrapnel scrapnel i don't know how you say it and apparently i'm doing something wrong here because he doesn't want to stand exactly so see if we can get him standing just a bit better so here we are and he looks okay um i mean he literally looks okay um, the transformation, I'm not that, so big about, um, and stuff like that, but other than that, he's a really cool figure, I really like this little bug mode, unfortunately, he doesn't have a head for his bug mode, unless the, uh, the silver bits are his eyes, then, yeah, but still, why is there a hole in there? I mean, I know why there's a hole in there. That's where his head's going to be in robot mode. But still, why? Why does there have to be a hole under there? Um, got the robot mode chest. You got the legs folded up there. You got the arms, obviously, folded up there. I mean, you got the waist section there. So, you know what? It's a little bit obvious to what this guy trans how this guy folds up into stuff and yeah but it's okay it's okay it's 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 good it's good um so for comparison uh, i don't really have a comparison right now so we'll just get down into transformation um so the first thing you want to do is um, okay, we'll start with the head and go up. So what you want to do is you just want to fold these out like that. Um, then you want to take the arms and just unpeg them. Uh, there's, there's a, there's a slot right there that we'll tab in right there. So there you have that. Um, do the same thing on the other side and they just swings out there and then just rotate that rotate that and they have that um next thing you want to do is you want to untab the legs which can be a bit of a pain in the butt to do uh it's easier to separate the legs i think um and that way you can just pull them down pull them down and they have that uh, you want to take the, the bug legs, uh, the back bug legs, and just fold them back, like that, and it's just all one piece, and it's on a, so a sort of a soft clicking thing. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you want to fold these off to the sides, like that, and these hinges are tight, unfortunately, but better tight than loose because yeah 
wind charger is quite loose and this guy is quite tight so yeah there you go there's that and the last thing you're going to do is you're going to fold the chest down never mind it's not the last thing you're going to do which will reveal the head and push that up to complete his crotch and there you have shrapnel scrapnel whatever they have that and I forgot to do one thing these guys come with collectors cards so I have that and yeah it says sh shrapnel I don't know why he's an Autobot but okay um it says power of the primes on it and there's some gunk on it Oh, just a rough spot. And he, in this thing, he is Nexus Shrapnel. Forms Ruthless Insecticon Combiners. Okay, then. Um, so, yeah. Here he is in robot mode. And he looks cool. He looks very, very cool. Um, I like how this guy forms. Um... It's interesting that these are not the shin panels. They're, like, adding on to the legs, which can be good, can be bad. Depends on your point of view. Uh, you got these things here, which you can actually fold up like this if you want, but instructions tell you to do it like that. Um, and, yeah, for articulation, uh... You got rotation at the head. I mean, to the bare minimalist. I mean, you can turn it about that far. And it's on a mushroom peg, if you can see it right there. So, they have that. Um, horns can move. I already showed that. Um, arms are on a bold, ball joint at the shoulder. So, you can do a full 360 if you move stuff out of the way. So they have that, it can go out, of course, it can go all the way out. Uh, you got a ball joint at the, uh, at the elbow, which is nice. Uh, nothing at the arm, leggy, thingy. Um, legs can go forward that far back, that far due to all the back legs stuff, and... Knees are on a ball joint, so you got knee rotation and good range of movement at the at the knee there. So they have that, and yeah, nicely poseable figure. I like this guy. Unfortunately, I don't have wind charger with me right now, so yeah. I mean, I have him. I just don't. I don't want to get up from my recording station, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there is Power of the Primes, uh, Shrapnel, and yeah, um, i say 4 out of 5 stars on this guy, um, but yeah, he has some things that I don't really like about him, but you know what, he is what he is, and I like him, so... There you go, there you have that, and this is Troy signing out.